state your name and age. Uh, Bianca, 17. I'm Modesty Katie Fong, and I'm 18. Elisa, um, 17. Shubham Kumar, 17. Uh, Mr. Danielson, 37. Michael, T-O-T-Y, comment. I'm between the ages of 30 and 60. Are you familiar with the term genocide? Um, no. I forgot, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's like, it means like a germ or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. It is the uh, systematic killing of a race or a religion or a, a certain group of people. So have you ever heard of the Cambodian genocide? No. No. Uh, I don't think so. No. Yes. Yes, I have. Have you ever heard of the Armenian Genocide? No. 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 Yes. I, yes, I have. So the combined death toll of both of those genocides is approximately 3.2 million. Knowing this now, does it surprise you that you haven't learned about these events previously? Yes. Yes. Yes, it does surprise me. How does it make you feel that these genocides, which have a combined death toll of 3.2 million, are not spoken about in school history? I think it's absolutely ridiculous. How does it make you feel that prior to me telling you, you were not aware of these events? I don't know, it makes me feel dumb, because I feel like that's something important that everyone should know. Uh, people should be more aware, because three, mil 3 million people is a lot of people, and that's a lot of blood. Um, it makes me feel sad and um, I don't, it makes me um, want to know more and it makes me want to know why I don't know about these things. Uninformed at school. Do you think this should be changed? Yes. The whole, the whole reason behind teaching history would be to avoid the history repeating itself aspect with all of the bad qualities of history. So if there's no awareness and teaching of the bad parts of history, we are running the risk of, of history repeating itself. Does it surprise you that students do not learn about both of these events in school? No, except in your class where they do.